Shop Jimmer Leggings, now available for purchase. Lindsay, the Pilates instructor with Jimra. I have a magic circle workout for you today. So grab your magic circle. We're going to start in our Pilates V, inner thighs connected, toes a sliver apart. Use your glutes, engage those guys. Palms are on the pads and arms are extended straight forward at chest height. On your inhale, lift your heels up, keep your heels connected, and then exhale, lower your heels down. Just waking those legs up. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. And press down through all toes especially the big toes. And if your heels are disconnecting, then walk those toes a little closer so your V will be smaller. Good, four more. For this whole arm series, you'll have the option of keeping your heels up if you wanna work the balance, or you can keep your heels down if that feels a little wobbly. So on your next one, keep those heels lifted. Anchor your shoulders, tighten your core, and then exhale, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. Long fingers, tall spine. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Maintain the connection of your inner thigh. Draw the fronts of the thighs up towards the frontal hip bone. And working into our thighs. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. You'll lift the ring up now so you can see through it and we'll pulse here for ten. Maintain the connection of your heels, inner thighs, and inner knees. Little squeezes in here for six, five, four, tall spine, three, two, and one. Lower the heels down. You'll place one pad on top of your right shoulder, and then your right hand to the top pad. Lift those heels up, right hand to the top pad, left hand to your hip. Exhale, squeeze the ring, inhale, release. These are classical Joseph Pilates exercises that we're using today. My favorite story about this magic circle is if you read about his past or his story, the magic circle actually was the top of a beer keg. <laughs> so if you're doing this for your happy hour today, maybe that's a little inspiration. All right, four more. Squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. And last three. Flex that right bicep as you squeeze into the ring. Final two. Try to keep the balance. Stay tall. And a last one. Release the squeeze. Float the heels down. Place the pad on your right hip bone now. Right hand on the outer pad. Elbow is lifted and shoulder is down. Float those heels up. Exhale, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. Maintain that upper inner thigh connection. Stand tall. The whole body is working. Abdominals are drawing up towards your frontal ribs. Shoulders are anchored. And we're maintaining a tall, long neck. Ah, a little shaky here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Float the heels down. Now you'll take the pad down so it's outside of your right thigh and a little lower. Now your right arm is straight. Exhale, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. You're using your right shoulder blade, drawing it to the spine as you squeeze the ring, and then releasing it. A lot of people come to Pilates for shoulder injuries and rehabilitation, so this is a really good exercise to strengthen your shoulder girdle using your shoulder blades. So it's your upper back that's squeezing to the spine, and then it's an inhale as you release for four, and three, final two, and final one. Squeeze the ring and release. You'll take one of the pads onto the top of your left shoulder now, and then hold onto the top pad with your left hand. Float those heels up, connect them, glue your right hand to your right hip. Exhale, squeeze the ring, Inhale, release. So this first exercise right here is working your bicep muscle. Okay, try to keep the lift of the heels by growing tall through the spine and pressing the big toes down into the ground. Stand proud here. Five more. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale, release. Finding the isometric squeeze as well by flexing that left bicep. Final three. And two. And one. Right, now float the heels down. You'll take the pad of the ring to your left hip bone. Left hand is on the outer pad. Inner thighs are connected and then you'll lift your heels up. Soft bend of that left elbow. Exhale, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. Try to maintain the balance so that we make this a full body exercise. Collarbones are wide. Shoulder blades are connected in your upper back. 
And exhale to squeeze, inhale to release. And we'll go for four. As if there's a string on the crown of your head lifting you up, find the height through the spine. Last two. And last one. Float those heels down. You'll place the pad on the outer left thigh. Left hand on the outer pad, arm is straight. Now it's the shoulder blade that squeezes to the back and then it releases. Think of your left shoulder blade and your left lat muscle squeezing to your back and then releasing. As your shoulder blade squeezes to your back, the front of your chest will widen. So your, right, your left collarbone will get wider as your left shoulder blade squeezes into the back. Let's go four more. Four. Add three. Final two. Breaking a sweat. Last one here. Okay, best for last. You'll take the magic circle and you'll place it behind your back. Both hands will go on the ring. Pilates V. Roll the shoulder blades onto the back. Lift the arms up. Little squeezes on that ring from your tricep muscles. Squeezing as hard as you can. It probably won't feel like the ring is moving much, but I'm sure you will be feeling your triceps. Let's go five more. Five. Squeeze the ring like you mean it. Four. Three. Two. And one. And release. Okay, both hands are coming back onto the ring. Step your feet a little bit wider than your hips distance, coming into our classical squat. Squeeze the ring. Inhale, bend your elbows to 90, wrists over sh elbows. Send your hips back on your exhale, weight in the heels. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, lengthen your arms. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Bend the elbows, sit back into your squat. Squeeze your glutes as you stand, and then lengthen your arms. The whole time, you're maintaining a squeeze on that ring. So we're working the front of the chest muscles, those pecs, as well as the legs at the same time. Try to sink it nice and low by sticking your tailbone out behind you. Knees should stay stacked over the ankles. If you feel like your knees are going straight forward over your toes, really work to hinge from the hips rather than bend at the knees. I think that's a little bit of a misnomer with a squat. Right, let's find four more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and an exhale. Let's go three. Final two, bend the arms, bend the hips, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Okay, this one we're holding it low. Stay low, squeeze into the ring, little pulses. Hug the elbows narrow, carve into those chest muscles, sit low, and draw your belly button to your spine. Six, sink it low. Five, four, three, weight in the heels, light in the toes. Two, squeeze the ring and hold it, pulse it down. We're here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, a little lower. Five, four, pull the squeeze on the ring. Three, two, and one, stand tall and lengthen those arms. Let's step into a wide second position with our toes and knees turned out to the side walls. Hands are on the ring, arms are extended straight down. Inhale, bend your knees wide, lift the ring up to chest height. Exhale, straighten the legs, lower the ring. Inhale, and an exhale. Try to inhale through your nose, and exhale with a ha breath, like you're fogging a mirror through the mouth. Little squeeze on the ring the whole time drawing the elbows towards each other, and then engage your glutes as you stand up. Imagine you're trying to pull your heels isometrically towards each other as you lengthen your legs. Maintain an upright spine with your chest stacked over your hips. Four more, inhale to bend, and exhale, stand. Find that glute squeeze. Final three, and final two. Last one, we're gonna stay nice and low. Lift the ring up to the height of your chest. Exhale, turn the upper body to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn upper body left. Inhale, center. Stay low in those legs. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Twisting through your waist. Turning your chest as much as you can to the side walls. The whole upper body, head, shoulders, chest is rotating. Exhale, turn the upper body. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Now notice if your knees or your legs are knocking forward as you do this. We're trying to just keep it in the waist and above. Two more. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Last one. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. 
stand tall. You'll reach the arms straight up to the sky as we sink low. On your inhale, take a side bend up and over to the right. Exhale, use your core, return center. Inhale, lengthen the sides of the spine. Side bend left, exhale, return center. Inhale, lengthen to side bend. Exhale, lift and return. Lengthen the sides of the waist, side bend. Exhale, return, let's go. Two more, we're starting to shake. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, wrap the ribs around the spine. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, return, and stand it up nice and tall. Good work with the leg work. Okay, we're gonna take it down to the mat. So we'll take a seat down, and we'll place the ring at the bottom of the mat, like so. And then you'll place your left leg on the top of the ring. This will create a little instability. Lay all the way down, and then reach your right leg straight up to the sky. Try to keep the ring as still as possible. Actively press your hands down into the mat. Take your right leg, you'll circle it all the way across the body to the left. Lower it down, take it out to the right, and back through center. Big circles while trying to maintain the stability of your core. So try not to look tipsy here. <laughs> look like you're in control of the movement. Not shifting side to side, pressing your back ribs down. You can use your arms to help anchor. Good, last two. Last one, it's an inhale to lower, and an exhale, circle the leg back through center. Now reverse. Take the leg out to the right, use your core, draw the leg across the left, and then back through center. Try to make the circle even in both directions. Good, with the ring under that left foot, you're pressing down with the back of your left leg. Good, not too vigorously, just enough to stabilize. Let's find two more. Inhale, out to the right. Exhale, use your belly, lift through center. Last one, inhale, out to the right. Exhale, over the left leg, and back to center. So let's switch it up. So we'll place the bottom of our right leg on the bottom of the ring, or the top of the ring. And then we'll roll it all the way back down and extend our left leg to our sky. Back is imprinted, so there's no space between the spine and the mat. Inhale, cross your left leg over the right leg. Take it down, out to the left, and back through center. As you're circling your left leg, you're trying to keep everything else still. Only things moving is that left leg. Reach through the left toes, keep that leg straight. Good. And try to keep your sobriety. <laughs> Try not to be rocking around everywhere. Good. Inhale to lower it down. Exhale, come back through center. Let's find two more. Pressing down into the back of the right leg to stabilize through the core. And final one. Good. And then back up through center. We're going to take an inhale, take it out to the left. Use your low belly muscles, circle the leg across the right, and then back to center. Making sure that the circle is even to the left and to the right. So we really are trying to create a full circle here. The last one, inhale, open. Exhale, cross the midline and back through center. Okay, roll yourself up. This time both feet will go on top of that ring. Find your Pilates V, heels together, toes and knees apart. Tighten your stomach and reach your arms up for our hundreds. On your exhales, your legs will lift up off of the ring. On your inhale, your legs will rest down. Here we go. Exhale, lift the legs up to a hover. Pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, rest the legs. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lift the legs. Use your core. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, rest the legs. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, lift the legs. Use those core muscles. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, rest the legs. Two, three, four, five. Here we go. Legs lift on the exhale. Pump for five. Legs lower on the inhale. Pump for five. Keep the chest curled up if you can. Legs lift up on the exhale. Pump. Legs lower down on the inhale. Pump. Last two sets. Exhale. Legs lift. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Legs lower. Two, three, four, five. Last one. Legs lift. Squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale. Rest the legs. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, lay it down. Let's grab that ring with our feet and pull the ring to you for our roll up. Extend the legs long, glue them together, flex your feet. Reach your arms straight up to the ceiling right above the chest. As you exhale, squeeze the ring, round the spine, and then dive the hands straight forward as you pull the core muscles back into the body. 
and then start to roll it all the way back down to the floor. This is where you want to control and not let gravity take over. Inhale, rest the head. Exhale, curl the upper body over the thighs and hollow out the middle. And then inhale to articulate back down. Maintain that squeeze on the ring to find that core connection. Last one like that. Inhale, rolling it up. Dive the hands forward. Reach for the front, front wall. And then roll it back just halfway. A place you can pause at. And then little squeezes on the ring. Exhale to squeeze in. Pull the core muscles into the body. Exhale, belly button to spine. And we'll go for five. Squeeze the ring, four. Keep the scoop of the pelvis, three. Two, hold the squeeze on the ring on one. Lift the arms up, lower the arms down. So this one is going to be very challenging. As the arms lift, try to press the backs of the legs into the ground, as well as keep your shoulders anchored away from your ears. Last two, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Last one, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Now pulse forward an inch and back an inch. Forward an inch and back an inch. Exhale forward, inhale back. We've got eight. Curl over your ribs, seven. Keep the squeeze on the ring, six. And five for four and three. Last two. Stay lifted on one. Reach the arms by the ears with control. Melt the spine back to the mat. Amazing. Okay, series of five. So you'll take your head and you'll place one of the pads behind the back of your head and then the other pad will be in front of you and you'll place both hands on the front pad. Press the pad of the ring away from you. Draw your legs up to tabletop. You can keep your head down if you need to, otherwise you'll curl up and imagine that this ring is supporting your head. So let your head hang back in the ring. Ring is supporting you like a pillow. Inhale, stretch your right leg long. As you bend your right knee to tabletop, inhale, stretch your left leg long. Bend your left knee to tabletop, exhale, stretch your right leg long. Bend your right knee to tabletop, exhale, stretch your left leg long. We go inhale, switch, inhale, exhale, switch, exhale. So it's just a single breath for each movement. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, switch, inhale, switch. Exhale, switch, exhale, switch. If your chest is lifted, try to keep that upper back away from the floor. Last two, last one. Glue the legs, inhale, stretch the legs, flex the feet, bend the knees to tabletop. Point the toes, keep them connected, reach, flex, return. Point and lengthen, flex and return. Using the low belly abdominals, inhale, reach, flex, return, last two. Inhale, reach, flex, return. Last one here, point, extend, flex, return. Both legs stretch up to the sky. Let's curl up a little bit higher. You'll switch your legs for two. Switch, switch, now point your toes, switch for two. Switch, switch, flex, one, two, point, one, two. Flex, switch, switch, point, switch, switch. Let's keep that lift of the chest, flex, Switch, switch, point, switch, switch. One more, flex, and point. Both legs to the sky, reset, rest the head. Here we go, hardest one. Let's curl it up, lower the legs one third of the way and freeze. Two thirds of the way and freeze. Three thirds of the way, freeze, and exhale, lift. We're going to our lowest point. Half, one third. And then a third, your final third of your range of motion, and then exhale left. Let's do two more. One third, two thirds, three thirds, exhale, take it up. This is our last one, give it all you got, curl it up. Here we go, one third down, two thirds down, three thirds down, and exhale all the way up. Nice work. Okay, last one in the series of five. This is crisscross, a variation on crisscross. Bring your legs to tabletop. Place one pad of the ring on the top of your left thigh. Bring your right elbow to the outer pad. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, release. Keep your chest turning towards the left wall. And keep your right hip anchored to the mat. So your pelvis is evenly weighted, yet your upper body is rotating. 
Good, let's go for six. And five. Try to really squeeze that ring, make it an oval. The last three. We're gonna pulse it out here for two. Hold it up on one, little squeeze it. Squeeze in and in, knee to elbow. 10, nine, eight, seven. Finish it up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, that burns so bad. Okay, let's do the other leg and then we finish these abdominals. So legs to tabletop. We're not kidding around today. Pad onto the top of the right thigh, hands behind the head, and left elbow to the pad of the ring. Turn the chest to the right. Exhale, curl up, squeeze the ring. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl and squeeze. Inhale, release. This time the upper body is turning to the right and the left hip is anchored to the mat. Exhale, curl, squeeze. Inhale, release. Keep your head resting back in your hands. Make sure your low back is pushed down into the mat. We're going to pulse here in three, two, hold it lifted, knee to elbow, squeeze the ring. We have 10. Use your exhale. <sighs> like you're trying to fog a mirror. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh man, <laughs> those are evil. Okay, but they do the job. So let's roll it up. We're gonna place the ring down at the bottom of the mat and I'll have you lie on your stomach. This one will feel nice, a little reward. So lay down on your belly, legs are long behind you. Arms will be extended overhead. Both hands will be on the top pad of the ring. Rest your head down towards the ground. Press your hips into the mat. Stretch your tailbone to your heels. On your inhale, press down into the ring to lift your chest up. Take a stretch for those abdominals. It feels amazing. And then exhale, melt the spine back down. Shoulders plugged into the back. Inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale, roll it down. This feels wonderful on that core. Inhale, lift it up. Hope you're feeling that as well. And then exhale, melt it to the mat. And let's take one more here. Inhale, lift and stretch. Anchor the shoulders into the back. Open through the front of the heart. And then exhale to release. Okay, let's take it up to a plank. My all-time favorite exercise to play around with. So you'll use the ring, but the idea is that there's not much weight on the ring at all, or else the ring will go flying. So let's start with the ring underneath your left hand, left hand on that top pad, right hand is planted underneath your shoulder, and you'll step back into your plank. Let's have our feet about hips distance apart. You'll need to square your hips, so turn your hips as a whole to the right. On your exhale, you'll push down into the ring, inhale, release. Exhale, press down into the ring, inhale, release. Zipper your abdominals up into your spine. Reach your chest forward and keep a long back. Press the ground away from you with your supporting arm. Last eight. Little pulses, thighs are tight. Seven, six, five. Finding that shake here for four, three, two, and one. Take those knees down. We've got one more and then we're gonna stretch it all out. So pad goes underneath the right hand. Left hand is planted underneath your shoulder. Let's step it back into our plank. Connect your core muscles, lift them away from the floor. Here we go, turn the hips to the left. Lift the low belly, exhale, press the ring. Inhale, release. Once you know what you're doing, look straight down to the ground. Keeping your neck lined up with the rest of your spine. Draw your chin back in space. Try not to let your face and your chin dip towards the floor. We're trying to keep the natural curves of our back. Let's finish here. Eight, seven, six, strong legs, five, four, three, two, and one. Taking it to the mat, and then I've got good news. You can also use the ring to stretch, so let's take a couple stretches with this ring. So we're gonna lay it down on our backs, and extend your left leg straight up to the sky. Place your left foot into the ring. Flex your foot, heel up, toes down. Try to really straighten your leg by squeezing the muscles in the leg. If you're in this position, you're not gonna get much for the back of the leg, so straighten it fully. Even if that means it's further away from you, that's totally fine. Pull the ring toward you with your hands and press the leg away from you with your thigh. 
Take your left hand to your left hip and send your left hip down so there's no hip hike, no crunching in the left side of the waist. Then we'll take our left hand to the ground, bring your left leg a couple inches across your body to the left. Still keep your left hip crease down out of your left armpit. If you need more, you'll start to bend this right elbow, plug the back of the right shoulder into the mat, and bring your left foot closer to the right ear rather than all the way across the body. We get this nice IT band stretch right here. And then on your exhale, come back to center and let's switch it up. So left leg to the mat, right toes to the ring. Flex the foot, heel up. Firm the leg muscles in this right leg and press the leg away from you. Opposingly, you'll pull in onto the ring if you need more. As long as you can keep the leg straight. So if you can't leave, keep the leg straight and your knee is really bent here, try to straighten it. Even if that means the leg is further out, that's totally fine. Take your right thumb to your right hip crease and send your right hip crease down out of your right armpit. Lengthen your right sits bone towards the bottom of the mat. And that should feel really good on that hamstring. And then you'll start to take this right leg across the body a couple inches. Make sure your right butt cheek stays down on the ground. If you need more, draw the back of your left shoulder to the floor, bend the left elbow, bringing that right foot towards your right ear. Well, let's take a couple deep breaths here, lengthening it out all of that work we did. And then on your exhale, bring your leg back to center. We'll release that ring. And let's make our way up to a seat. Alright guys, we put in the work, now we're going to get the dessert of it, so let's cool it down a little bit. I think we should do a straddle, so we'll take our legs nice and wide. If you feel like your low back is really tucked in this position, prop yourself up. Roll your mat up, put a pillow underneath your butt, get yourself higher, and try to sit tall. Flex your feet, bring your fingertips behind your hips, and press the ground away from you. Straighten your back. That's the most important thing here is that we're lifting the spine. That's going to help get the opening in the hamstrings and the inner thighs. Tighten your leg muscles and press your thighs down into the ground. It's very active. This is not a passive stretch. And lift the heart. If you feel like you can keep the lift of the chest without holding the ground, maintain a flat back as you reach your chest forward. If you come into this position and you're starting to head here, you've kind of lost it. So back it up and eventually you'll get there. But stay here and work this first. If you find that that works for you, let's start to move forward. Aim your chest for the front wall rather than the ground, and that'll help continue to lengthen your spine rather than round your upper back. So stretch that upper back forward, flex your feet, roll the inner thighs up to the ceiling, and continue to reach the chest forward. Grow your upper back out of your pelvis. Maybe it helps to walk the hands forward, create length in your side waist. And so take it down at your own pace. Keeping the legs active, drawing the chest through the upper arm bones, widening the collarbone. Good. Legs are a little shaky here, but that's a good sign. Those leg muscles are releasing. Inhale as you stretch your upper back forward. Draw your shoulder blades together and your into your back. And then let's walk those hands in. Brush that off. And take your right elbow to your right inner thigh, open your chest up, and reach your left arm all the way up overhead. Create length in your side body and shoulders onto your back. If you're pretty flexible, you can continue to slide down to it and grab for those right toes. Try to turn your upper body to the ceiling and stretch your neck and your spine long. And inhale, lift it up. Other side, left elbow inside the left inner thigh. Turn the chest to the sky all the way from the belly button and then you'll stretch that right arm overhead and reach for those right toes. And you can continue to slide down into it. Try to pull your right shoulder onto your back as you turn your chest and your navel to the ceiling. And no tension in the neck. And make sure you breathe during stretching. Inhale and exhale, just natural breath. Just try not to hold it. And then on your exhale, we'll make our way all the way up. Let's bring our legs back together. Let's stretch those hip flexors. We did a lot of core. So legs, let's bring ourselves up to kneeling. Step your left foot forward and wide. Lunge forward. Bring both hands inside of your left foot. And lean the front of your right hip bone to the ground. 
stretching out the hip flexor, that right hip flexor here. Draw your chest forward to the front of the mat. Press the top of your back foot into the, the ground. Click those right toenails to the floor. And then as you're ready, you'll come down onto your forearms. And then still think of lengthening your back forward. And then we'll walk back up onto our hands. Plant your right hand down on the mat. Reach your left arm around and grab for your right foot. Draw your heel into the back of your body. And opening up that right thigh. If you're more flexible in this position, you can come down onto your right forearm to get a deeper opening in the front of the right thigh. Good, and then let's release that right leg. Plant your hands and step yourself back into kneeling. And then we'll step our right foot forward to the front of the mat. Nice and wide, drop those hips forward. Both hands inside the right foot. Aim the right, the left hip bone for the mat. And draw the chest through the arms. And then begin to make your way down onto your forearms. Get a little bit deeper. And bring your chest forward over your fists. Quad opening. Plant your left hand, bend your left foot, and reach back for it with your right hand. And then pull that heel in towards your back body. If you feel like you just can't grab your foot in this position, you can always grab a strap or a belt, loop it around your foot, so say your foot's there, and pull it in from there. So that's also a modification if it's too hard to grab your foot. Another modification for people more flexy can come down onto that left elbow. Keep pulling that foot towards your butt. Good, and then release your foot. And step it back to all fours. We'll take a little spinal articulation. Hands underneath shoulders. Exhale, round the spine. Lift the navel. And then inhale, reverse. Chest up, tail up. Exhale, round the back. Push the ground away from you. And inhale, lift the chest and tailbone. And final one, exhale, round. And inhale, arch. Come to neutral, and then we'll take a seat down. Nice work, thanks for joining me for the cool down, and I'll see you on the next one.